Welcome folks, we're going to do example uh, to describe how we can solve for uh, circuit problems using the concept of linearity. The basic concept of circuit of linearity is that the circuit will contain one voltage source uh, or current source. We're going to call it input, so this is the input of the circuit. And the input of the circuit can be a voltage source or it can also be a current source where we are interested at, at a particular output of the circuit so we can say that for example the output will be a resistor R where the output can be the voltage across this resistor or the current through this resistor so we know that the current and the voltage are uh, uh, related to each other for example I can say that uh, the voltage V out will equal to I out times the resistor or vice versa I can say that the output I out will equal to V out over the resistor. The basic idea is that I have one input and one output and if I will increase the input by some factor alpha so let's say that the input voltage was 1 volt now I'm gonna increase it by a factor of 5 so now it will be 5 volts. What happens to the output? Well the output will also increase by the same factor alpha. So if I increase the input by 5 volts, the output will also increase by the factor 5. If the input is decreases by a factor of 3, the output will also decrease by a factor of 3. So Sometimes we are interested in knowing what the output will be if the input is increased by some factor. Or vice versa. If the output is decreased by some factor, alpha, that means the input also decreased by some factor, alpha. So in some circuit problems, we will give you the output to be, for example, 1 volt. Then you will be able to solve for the input. If I increase the output by a factor of 10, then the input will also be increased by a factor of 10. So if you increase the input by a factor alpha, the output will increase by a factor alpha, or vice versa. If the input increases by a factor of alpha, the output will also increase by a factor of alpha. So let's do a numerical example. So in this example, we have a circuit here. The circuit has one single source and has a bunch of resistors. And then we are asking you for using the concept of linearity to solve or to find IS, which means the input source, such that V out will be, which is the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor, 1 volt or 5 volt or 10 volt respectively. So I'm giving you a bunch of values for the output and I'm asking you to solve for the input current. Well. I don't need to do the problem three times. I only need to do the problem once because the input will be scaled as the output is scaled. So you can see here the output was 1, then 5, that means I scaled it by a factor of 5, then 10, that means I scaled it by a factor of 10. And I'm asking you to solve for the input. So if I solve for the input under one case, then I can scale the input for the other cases. So let's look at this circuit. This is a classical circuit. You have one source with a bunch of resistors and I'm giving you the output voltage and I'm asking you for the input. So we know that the approach to solve for this circuit is to work the circuit backward. So we will start with the output. We said that the output is 1 volt So that means I can define the current going through this resistor and the current going through this resistor we're going to call it I out and I out will equal to V out over the 4 ohm resistor which is basically 1 over 4 amps or 0 0.25 amps. So I know the current through this resistor now I know those two resistors are in series when I combine them together they become one equivalent resistance equal to 16 ohms and they are in parallel with the 4 ohm resistor 
which means that I can find the current going through those two resistors and I'm gonna call it I1 this I1 current will equal to the voltage across those two resistors which is the same as the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor but the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor is 1 volt that means the current going through those two resistors will be uh, uh, 1 over 16 which is basically the 1 volt across them divided by the sum of the two resistors which is 16 ohms so that will give us 1 over 16 or 0 0.0625 amps now because I know those two currents I can determine the current going through the 10 ohm resistor so the current going through the 10 ohm resistor will be the sum of those two currents that's basically by KCL I will call this current I2 then I2 will equal to I0 plus I1 so I will have I0 plus I1 and that will equal to 0 0.3125 amps because I know the current through the 10 ohm resistor I can find the voltage across it I'm gonna call the voltage across it to be V2 and by ohm's law V2 will equal to I2 times 10 ohm resistor and when I do that I will have uh, 3.125 volts so now I have the voltage V2 which equals 3.125 volts and the voltage across the 4 ohm resistor which is 1 volt that's given to us now I can use KVL to solve for the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor so the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor by KVL we, we are going to call it V3 and this will uh, be equal to uh, using KVL V2 plus V0 and that will be 4.125 volts I basically used KVL around the loop to find V3 now that I know V3 I'll be able to find the current through this 10 ohm resistor I'm gonna call it I3 the current I3 this uh, through this 10 ohm resistor will be given to us as the voltage V3 that I solved for divided by the resistance itself and when I do that I will get 4.125 over 10 which is 0 0.4125 amps so at this point I'm almost done with the problem what I have is the current I3 which is the current through this 10 ohm resistor and the current I2 which is the current through the other 10 ohm resistor which gives me the current through the 5 ohm resistor however the current through this 5 ohm resistor is the same as the current through the current source so I can say that this current going through the 5 ohm resistor is nothing but IS so I'm gonna call it IS and then uh, we can solve for IS using KCL by summing those two currents I will have IS then I can say that IS will equal to I2 plus I3 and that will be basically 0 0.725 amps so I end up solving for the current coming from the current source which equals to 0 0.725 amps so what that says is when I applied 1 volt to the output I got 0 0.725 amps at the input now I wanted to know what happens if I make the output to be 5 volts so if the output will equal to 5 volts which is 5 times 1 then the input will be also 5 times IS which is 3.625 amps so I end up solving for part B basically by linearity I said that I increased the output by a factor of 5 that means the input is increased by a factor of 5 and for part C of the problem we are going to increase the output to be 10 volts so I increase V out to 10 volts which is an increase by a factor of 10 that means the input also increased by a factor of 10 and IS will be 10 times the original current 
which is 7.25 amps. So in this problem, I was able to solve for the input voltage IS using the concept of linearity. And what I did is I solved for IS using the first condition, which is the output equals 1 volt. And once I did that, I was able to scale the uh, input current by a factor of 5 and then by a factor of 10 to solve for what happens to the input when the output will equal to 5 volts and 10 volts. So this is it. Make sure that you study for this problem. Uh, it might be in the exam. Finally, I wanted to say that good luck to you in the exam.